welcome. Especially if this is um, the third part that you've watched. So, we've finally got to the bottom of what's wrong with the Vauxhall. So, the reason the timing belt was loose uh, and everything had all gone wrong here, and the reason it's all stood in pieces, it's right here. This is the bottom timing sprocket. Clamps onto the bottom end. You have your timing holes and marks with your tools so you can time it all up. And see how it's snapped and smashed the key. And then it has spun to there. And that's why the engine sounds like it hasn't got, uh, isn't, well, it sounds like it isn't on the right stroke. It's because it's actually sheared the key. Um, I have called a Vauxhall and ordered a new bottom pulley. Uh, they don't list the key separately, so I'm hoping that that comes as part of this. So I can then put the bottom end back together. I'm hoping that this hasn't spun too far and damaged the valves. The only way we're going to find that out is either take the entire thing apart, or we spin the engine back, pin everything up, put timing belt on it, and try and start it. If it starts, beautiful. Um, if it doesn't, then we have to take the engine apart. Um, I mean, the engine's going to have to come apart if we fix it, because it's hard to see it on camera, because the light's terrible. Let's try and turn the flash on. Uh, just get a torch it'll be quicker. See how we've got water down in there and the glow plugs. That's because this either the seal's gone in the manifold or the manifold's cracked. So that's gonna have to come off if the engine's any good. But the intake manifold for one of these is £300 plus VAT. So we're not going to go throwing that on until we know that the engine's good. Um, if the engine's spun and it's damaged a load of valves, uh, all the rockers, it's going to be 50-50 whether it gets replaced or repaired. It will get something put back in the car. Um, but this engine's, uh, like I say, it's either it, it's on the on the verge of living or dying. So we will get these parts over, um, and then we will get it put back together and see if it starts. If I end up having to strip the engine down, I may do another video um, just showing that. Um, if not, I might do a, a little short of it running if it manages to start again. Um, but yeah, so just thought I'd share that with you. So it turns out that I reckon what happened is, I reckon this water leak started. The vehicle was shut off, unbeknownst to the driver of the vehicle. This has puddled into the cylinders. The engine's been turned. It's turned over, um, but what's happened is it's then hydrolocked, which has then sheared the bottom key and knocked the timing out. Then when it finally managed to move enough of the water to turn over, it was too late. It was already out of time. Um, if anybody needs to know, uh, the bottom crankshaft bolt is left-hand thread. So you tighten it up to undo it, it's done up to 340 Newton metres. Just to let you know, because 
I wasn't sure and it was over tight because the pulley had spun but they see it's it's left hand thread I've ordered a new one of these because as you can see it took some hammer to get it out it was in there um, but yeah so we will we will order said parts when they turn up bottom pulley's 15 quid um, apparently this is an issue that can happen with these engines this spinning round because um, they've sold three of these from the same dealership recently so worth keeping an eye out for if you're if you're unlucky because you may just have one of these so I think with these um, engines from now on I'm going to keep an eye on these I might even when it comes to doing the timing belt pull these um, pull these out and uh, change the bottom pulley in the keyway just just in case like I say I think it was because the water got in there but I'm not 100% certain uh, like I say if I do a video of stripping it down then I do but meanwhile there's your information left hand thread bottom bolt uh, be careful because obviously if yours does this you want to be careful which way you turn the engine to reset the timing because if you go the wrong way you'll hit the valves if they haven't already been done because this is an interference engine that means if the timing goes out too much you will hit a valve now this does sound like it still has compression when you crank it even though the timing's out so i'm hopeful that it hasn't damaged anything but we'll see thanks for watching catch you on the next one